In America, there is an estimated 1.4 million people that wear the colors of a gang, and there are over 35,000 known gangs just here in the United States. Gang, by definition, is an organized group of criminals sometimes carrying out illegal activities together, from dictionary.com. Gangs are all over the world, in big cities, small towns. They express themselves through symbols, tattoos, colors, clothing, haircuts, and gang signs. In this presentation, I will teach you about the main way to express if you are in a gang, and that's by tattoos. The history of gangs dates back to the early times in America. The first gang-like group came about in 1783, mainly between the English, German, and Irish. They formed in New York. In the 1860s, the first gang emerged in the Midwest, mainly in Chicago. This group was among the white immigrants, which was the Irish, German, and Lithuanian cultures. Around 1919, black gangs, black gangs started to form and fight against the whites. In the 1950s is when the Mexican-American gangs were formed. Here in Wisconsin, in 1980, was when the first summer, when the first murmurs of gang affiliation came about in Racine, Wisconsin. Many people joined gangs to fill the unmet needs in their lives. Studies show that people join gangs to fill Maslow's hierarchy of needs. Maslow, Maslow's hierarchy of needs is explained. Lower level needs defined by physiological needs such as hunger, thirst, and shelter. Safety, security, and protection is another lower level. Higher level needs defined by belongingness is affection, affection acceptance, and belonging. Esteem is another part, which is self-respect, autonomy, and achievement. Self-actualization is fulfilling potential of fulfillment by Carly 2012, or 2002. Many young ch kids join gangs because they are not getting the necessary attention and needs from their own homes. Gangs can, can, can fulfill those needs that children are looking for. Today, tattoos came about early at the beginning of mankind. The early Romans tattooed slaves and criminals to single them out from normal society and let the common people know that they have committed a crime. In Japan, criminals were tattooed as a punishment for their crimes. They would often tattoo the name of the victims on the criminal's forehead. Tattoos are important in gangs because they represent what gang a person belongs to. Gang tattoos do not always have to be violent. They rep Some nonviolent groups have matching tattoos, such as the J Dixie Chicks. For gang member, Tattoos are a way of claiming their gang and promoting the lack of membership to society. Goldberg, no date. There are many tattoos that do not belong to gangs, but have symbolism to represent who they are. Here are some examples of tattoos that do not claim a gang. The cobweb explains a lengthy time a person spent in prison. The teardrop, some claim this, ta this tattoo right here as describing that they had murdered someone. Others claim it also tells, tells the person that this person was sentenced to a lengthy time in prison. Some may have multiple teardrops along their eyes. That, that can mean how many people they have murdered. There are many other rep that represent lengthy times sentences spent in prison, such as three dots on the hand. There are also a couple of examples I have of tattoos that, rep that do represent gangs. The five-point crown represents the Latin King's gang. The AV and swastika and SS bolts represents the Aryan gang. The SS bolts are here the swastika is here, and the AB is here. The last one I have is called La M A, and which is the letter M. It represents the Mexican Mafia, which is one of the largest prison gangs, found in corrections.org. Here in Wisconsin, there are over a hundred known gangs. Here are a few to name. The Asian Bloods, 
the Asian Cobras, the 920 Bloods, the Asian Crip Killers, also known as ACK, Blood Brothers, Fox City Bloods, Imperial Gangsters, the 2-6 Gang, Brown Town, Insane Vice Lords, Latin Kings. From Northeast Wisconsin Gang Assessment, no date. Gang tattoos mark a person as part of a street gang. They symbolize membership. They represent the wearer's beliefs, and sometimes they record acts of violence or even murder. ChicagoGangs.org In my presentation, I have explained the history of gangs, history of tattoos, and explained some of the examples of tattoos around America. I hope you learned a little more on the symbolism of gangs and more, more about tattoos a part of the gangs.